The debate over whether to build a mosque in Carmel is far from over. RTV 6's Graham Hunter reports from the Monon Community Center where a public meeting on the plan was standing room only. Hundreds of people were turned away tonight because the meeting hall reached capacity. Inside, dozens of people spoke out against the special use amendment. Now we're talking over 100 parking spots on five acres. That is ridiculous, in my opinion. Impassioned calls to the Carmel Board of Zoning Appeals. Now, sadly, my granddaughter's play gym will be 60 feet or less from this building. My family flatly opposes the project. The Al Salam Foundation wants to build an Islamic life center and mosque near Shelbourne Road in West 141st Street in North Carmel. No one is questioning if the center should be built. We are questioning just because a piece of land is for sale, is it the right place to put a 28,000 square foot building? Neighbors of the proposed site voiced concerns about noise, traffic, and light pollution. I think uh, the uh, meeting went uh, fine. I think uh, we were somewhat expecting that uh, this this uh, outcome. Ashar Madni is the vice president of the Al Salam Foundation. He says there was confusion at tonight's meeting when board members changed the public comment section to allow more speakers. No one from Madni's congregation signed up to speak. I think that rule got changed. I think uh, uh, so that's why they were not able to sign. So they thought that they will be able to speak without signing. Because of how many people showed up to the hearing, many people were turned away when the room reached capacity. So the Board of Zoning Appeals granted a continuance to next month to allow everyone else a chance to be heard. In lieu of any better site, we should proceed with a special variance. The El Salam Foundation has done tremendous due diligence. One primary concern of the early plans for the mosque come from an early proposal that show a dome standing 70 feet tall. So it was reduced to uh, within that uh, uh, 35 feet uh, uh, limit. The Al Salam Foundation's purchase of the proposed site is contingent upon the granting of the special use amendment. If they don't get it, they don't have to buy the land. I do not believe that it is an appropriate use. If they do get the special use, Madni says it will likely be at least three years before breaking ground. The Al Salam Foundation is planning a traffic study to analyze the potential impact of the mosque being put in. That will be presented at the next hearing for this issue next month. Reporting from Carmel, Graham Hunter, RTV6.